Welcome to Info Support Videos. This is Rohini from Informatica Technical Support. I am here to explain you about how to create a driving table in an entity. So let us first see what is a driving table and how to set the driving table for an entity. So what is a driving table? Driving table is nothing but the parent table of all the tables in the entity from where the relation hierarchy will start. For example, let us consider four tables, ticket, ticket coupon, ticket save and ticket coupon save. If ticket is a parent table, we have to mark the ticket table as a driving table of the entity. The driving table of the entity will be set in EDM. The driving table should be set for an entity if the operations like update retention policy Purge expert record job and the technical view data discovery option should be performed based on the relationship of the parent table and the child table. So once a driving table is set, we can validate the entity to check if all the child tables are reached from the parent table. So here is the steps to set the driving table in an entity. Log into the web UI, launch the EDM from Accelerators Enterprise Data Manager. Go to View Data Archive tab in EDM. Switch to Database Archive tab. And select the product family version containing the entity for which the driving table need to be set. Once you have navigated to the product family version, expand the application module under the product family version. Select the entity required. So after selecting the entity, in the right side of the pane, you can see the driving table option. If the driving table is already set for the entity, you will see the table name under the option driving table. So now to set the driving table for the entity, expand the entity. It will list all the tables under the entity. Choose the parent table that you want to set as a driving table. Right click on the table and select the mark as entity driving table. Once the mark as entity driving table option is selected, the table will be displayed under the driving table option in EDM. So you can save the changes and that table will be marked as driving table for the particular entity. So this is all about setting the driving table for the entity. Any kind of feedback we would love to hear from you from the following side. Thank you.